Seven spacecraft, seven failures, seven heartbreaks. That's what Soviet engineers faced between 1961 and 1967 as probe after probe either missed Venus entirely or smashed into its surface like expensive meteorites. Venera 1 lost contact just seven days into its journey, a $50 million piece of space junk tumbling through the void. Venera 2 and 3 followed suit, turning what should have been triumphant victories into public embarrassments that made Korolev chain smoke through sleepless nights. But here's the thing about Soviet engineers, they were stubborn as hell, each failure only made them angrier, more determined to crack Venus's secrets. While Western newspapers mocked their cosmic flops, teams at OKB-1 were already dissecting every malfunction, upgrading heat shields and reinforcing communication systems. Korolev himself would pace the control rooms, barking orders and demanding answers. Why did the antenna fail? Why couldn't we hold the signal? What killed the batteries? The pressure was crushing. Every failed mission meant explaining to Khrushchev why millions of rubles had vanished into space. Engineers worked 18-hour shifts, knowing that their careers and possibly their freedom depended on the next launch. 1967 became their make-or-break year. They had one more chance with Venera 4, and this time they weren't just hoping to reach Venus, they were planning to survive its hellish embrace. The probe was built like a tank, designed to withstand pressures that would crush a submarine and temperatures that could melt copper. Failure was no longer an option, 